Hello and welcome everyone, it's Capion here and today we are looking at our um, Enhancement Shaman Talent Tree from Dragonflight. Let's go right into the action with our base Talent Tree being so cool, so wide, so full of choices. I hope that we're gonna have something similar here as well. So Enhancement starts with Storm Strike, which is quite logical. Um, replaces Primal Strike, 7.1 second cooldown, instant energizes both your weapons with lightning and delivers a massive blow to your target dealing a total of 1700 physical damage costs 200 mana Ooh, i can't really man i don't i don't know if that was costing mana previously i don't remember truly but it's not that much of mana either way uh, then we have our wind fury weapon imbue your mind hand weapon with the element of wind for one hour wait a second that's a uh, an active uh, each main hand attack has a oh yeah yeah uh, each main hand attack has a 26 percent chance to trigger two extra attacks dealing 265 physical damage each so prox here and lava lash charges off your off hand weapon with lava and burns your target dealing uh, fire damage 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 is increased by 100% if your offhand weapon is imbued with flame tongue weapon. Yeah, uh, 16 seconds cooldown, 80 mana, which even less than storm strike. So uh, pretty standard stuff here. Now we go into wind fury part. <coughs> Wind Fury causes each successive uh, Wind Fury attack within 15 seconds to increase the damage of Wind Fury by 45%, stacking up to 5 times. So I guess more emphasis on, on those random physical procs. And Unru Unruly Winds. A wind Fury weapon has a 100% chance to trigger a third attack. So just additional uh attack uh, okay here as well so you can go into like just passive procs then at the center well first part looks uh, not as as wide as here but still pretty okay improved maelstrom weapon maelstrom weapon now increases the damage or healing of spells it affects by 10 percent per stack and 20 percent per stack then feral lunge okay so that's uh, 8 to 25 yards range 30 seconds cooldown lunge at your enemies as a ghostly wolf biting them to deal 99 percent physical damage so that's our blink ability it's very good that it's so early on here it's gonna be pretty awesome to have it while you're leveling uh, and to have that blink mobility as melee as melee uh, guy then we have um okay I, i've skipped a little bit here but not a problem. Raging Maelstrom. Uh, so Maelstrom weapon can now stack five additional times with Maelstrom weapon now increases uh, the damage of healing of spells or, or healing of spells. It affects by an additional 5% per stack and healing he uh, everywhere here as well, by the way. Now then we have our Ice Strike, which goes after Lava Lash. Uh, strike your target, 13 seconds, 14 seconds cooldown. Uh, way better, uh, way, way bigger cost than even Storm Strike weapon. Strike your target uh, with uh, an icy blade dealing 1700 frost damage okay so similar to storm strike uh, and, sn and snaring them by 50% for 6 seconds ice strike increases the damage of your next frost shock by 100% so yeah that's if you're going in sh in, in cold weapons cold damage uh, style of uh, I guess maybe or maybe you will just take it anyways now what we have with molten uh, with lava lash uh, part of the small part of the cluster of the tree a lava lash cooldown reduced by three seconds and lava lash is used against a target affected by your flame shock uh, oh, and lava lash if probably if lava lash is uh, used against a target affected by your flame shock flame shock will be spread to up to two near enemies near the target and then up to four targets so yeah uh, and uh, and cooldown is reduced very so like instead of 17 seconds with my current haste it's gonna be like uh, 11 seconds which is quite great so yeah that's for your aoe spreads of flame shocks uh, it's 100 percent gonna be taken if you're playing in m plus and you need your aoe damage and here of course we have fire nova and we have it not too much far down as well because it's you know, it feels so good when you're when you're like dungeon spamming leveling and you're getting your fire nova and you're like okay now i have aoe damage so a uh, fire nova 14 seconds cooldown 
100 mana erupt a burst of fiery damage from all targets affected by your flame shock dealing 700 fire damage to up to six targets within eight yards of your flame shock targets so yeah basically you're uh, you're using your flame shock then you're striking with lava lash it spreads to everyone else and then you're bursting everyone with your fire nova which is mm, just juicy uh, hailstorm each stack of maelstrom weapon consumed increases the damage of your next frost shock by 15 percent and, and causes your next frost shock to hit one additional target pale mace ma maelstrom a weapon stack consumed up to five uh, so i guess that's if you really want to go into frost damage build you can uh, go uh, and uh, yeah create your lava your, your frost shocks as aoe um, aoe ability okay pretty interesting Je definitely 100 percent cool from the stylistic point of view you can be frost shaman you can be fire shaman while being melee and maybe something else as well we, like with wind we have our third part uh kinda uh all right let's go and look at our no probably let's go and finish this part and then we're gonna go like in the in the wrong um order so hot hand uh two ranks melee auto attacks with flame tongue weapon active heavy five percent chance to reduce the cooldown of lava lash by 60 percent and increase the damage of lava lash by 50 percent and then it goes uh, up to 75 also first uh yeah so first stack is first uh, talent is very good second talent is just uh, okay uh, it's a little bit worse but it, you need uh, to get ashen catalyst uh then swirling maelstrom consuming at least two stacks of hailstorm using ice strike and uh, consuming at least two stacks of hailstorm which is this using uh ice strike and each explosion from ice nova from fire nova now also grant you one a stack of maelstrom weapon okay so yeah frost uh, stuff is uh, a little bit better on the single target and i guess of uh, fire nova if you're going fire nova it's gonna be better on aoe but not on a uh, single target as much interesting uh, storm flurry storm strike has a 25 percent chance to strike the target an additional time for 40 percent of normal damage this effect can chain off of itself that's uh, what we've had before ashen catalyst each time flame shock deals periodic damage increase the damage of your next lava lash by 12 percent and reduce the cooldown of lava lash uh, by 0 0.5 seconds uh, great again so you can spec into the lava lash fire novas and just strike everything with your fire damage looks very great uh, Flashing flames. Uh, level ash increases the damage of flame shock on its target by 100% for 20 seconds. Okay, so that's more of a single target stuff. But you can, like, yeah, you can apply it on uh, multi target occasions, but probably more of a single, a single target stuff here. Let's go with center rear uh, now. Uh, Sundering. So our spender of our previous spender of maelstrom now costs only mana shatters a line of earth in front of you with uh, your main hand or maelstrom was removed holy man i i i can't really understand uh, i can't really remember remember anyways shatters a line of earth in front of you with uh, your main hand weapon causing 2000 flame strike damage and incapacitating any enemy hit for two seconds 40 seconds cooldown pretty good aoe cooldown here overflowing maelstrom your damage uh, or healing spells will now consume up to 10 uh, maelstrom weapon stacks okay okay wind fury totem summons a totem at your feet for two minutes for two minutes party members within 30 yards have a 20 percent chance when they have uh, when they main hand auto attack to swing an extra time okay so that's our uh, party uh, only party members no raid members so yeah that's for your party uh, that's for you to be a melee uh, buffer and that's uh, the reason why you would uh, take some of the talents here to reuse your but like to restock your uh, to, to restock your um, totems it costs only 150 mana probably it's just for your time consumption uh, purposes so yeah it's cool that we have buffing totem that lasts two minutes 
great i like it very much uh, then we have our crush lightning as a very potent aoe skill that we've had before uh, so 11 seconds cooldown melee range instant 100 mana electrocutes all enemies in front of you dealing nature damage hitting two or more targets enhances your weapons for 12 seconds causing storm strike ice strike and lava lash to also deal nature damage to targets in front of you damage reduced beyond six targets okay so i don't know about the second part of the skill we definitely had this skill of course but i don't know if the second part with the all the aoe nature damage was uh, in there before pretty cool uh, let's finish our center part i guess uh, so after the sundering we have either refreshing waters your healing surge is 30 percent more effective on yourself so if you want to have more self-sustain or ancestral wolf affinity cleanse spirit winds shear purge and totem casts no longer cancel ghost wolf oh so you can be very mobile and still use your totems purge uh, wind shear uh, cleanse spirit so be like utilitarian while you're moving into new place uh, or in pvp okay so yeah that's that's like a little bit more uh, in total as you can see uh, this part is uh, it's dead end uh, which means that it's a more situational stuff and like yeah refreshing waters is less situational and ancestral wolf affinity is the most uh, utilitarian based talent in here uh, elemental weapons increase all fire frost and nature damage dealt by 10 percent so straight off just 10 percent damage increase but no lightning damage oh okay so no not all skills each target hit by crush <coughs> by crush lightning increases the damage of your next uh, storm strike by 15 percent up to maximum of 10 stacks so 150 percent more which is quite good i guess uh, crushing storms crush lightning damage increased by 40 percent massive for aoe chain lightning now jumps to two extra targets massive for aoe yeah you're probably taking this for aoe purposes 100 percent of the time <coughs> Now, what do we have going after, uh, like, Wind Fury weapons and stuff? Doom Winds, instant uh, 1 minute cooldown, strike your target for 700 physical damage, increase your chance to activate Wind Fury weapon to 79%, holy, and increases damage dealt by Wind Fury weapon by 25%, so that's definitely way more single target oriented. If here we had something like uh, both uh, single target and AoE, here we've had uh, hard aoe stuff uh, some buffs around here uh, then here we probably will have uh, going through this uh, weapon procs uh, which are more single target oriented increase the chance of mastery enhanced elements to trigger wind fury and stormbringer bar by 100 percent okay uh, so more if you're a mastery uh, dude uh, storm blast uh, stormbringer now also causes your next storm strike to deal 25 percent additional damage as nature damage all right, so a little bit of increase to the... Oh no, Storm Strike is not Crush Lightning. Storm Strike is Storm Strike, yes. So, which means that it's still single target oriented. And Elemental Blast, which was our talent in... I don't know if uh, Enhanced uh, had any Elemental Blast uh, availability, but it, it was in our Elemental tree. Uh, so 1.9 second cast time, 12 seconds cooldown, dealing um, pretty good elemental damage. Harness the raw power of the elements, dealing pretty good damage increases your critical strike and or haste by three percent or mastery by six percent for 10 seconds if lava burst is known elemental burst replaces lava burst and gains one additional charge okay so so you can uh, go into lava burst and have additional charges of elemental blasts which are castable and then enhancement and their single target only of course they give you they give you stats which is probably again that's more of a single target uh, yeah that's that's more of a single target part of the tree let's unlearn something here and maybe uh, like here and something here yeah great okay primordial wave our necrolord one of the most popular uh, skills on the shamans during shadowlands our necrolord skill uh, 300 mana 45 seconds cooldown instant blast your target with a primordial wave dealing shadow damage and apply flame shock to an enemy or heal an ally for 725 and no riptide okay your next lightning bolt will also maybe not no riptide because uh, enhancement doesn't have 
uh, like Riptide at all. But had, has he had it? Was it how was it on enhancements? I don't know. I know that it was how it was on Resto. Uh, your next lightning bolt will also hit uh, all targets affected by your flame shock for 150 percent of normal damage. Yeah, so your lightning bolt spread uh, to all targets with. So for enhancement, I don't. I'm not sure really. Uh, do you want primordial wave so hard? It's 45 seconds cooldown. At least it's in the part for like single target. Maybe I don't know. Uh, primal maelstrom. Primal uh, primordial wave generates five stacks of uh, primal maelstrom weapon, and then it goes to ten, which is better, of course. Okay. Earth and splintered elements. Each additional lightning bolt generated by primordial wave increases your haste uh, by 10 percent. For 12, for 12 seconds. Each one. Okay, so that's... Yeah, you'll, you'll probably wouldn't really be able to uh, get them a, a lot, but still something... So yeah, you can go hard in this skill. Um, interesting. I don't know about enhancement, like the enhancement powers here. Uh, so we have Feral Spirit. Summon two Spirit Wolves that aid you in battle. 1.5 minutes cooldown for 15 seconds. They are immune to movement impairing effects. And each Feral Spirit summon gained you 15% increased physical damage dealt by your abilities. Uh, feral Spirit uh, generates one stack of Maelstrom weapon immediately and one stack every 3 seconds for 15 seconds. So yeah, you will generate a little bit of Maelstrom weapon stacks. Uh, elemental Assault. Storm Strike damage is increased by 10% and Storm Strike has a 50% chance to generate one stack of Maelstrom weapon, which is just good for your single target damage. It's quite obvious where is it, where this, this is going. Uh, yeah, generation damage for a uh, single target. Witch Doctor's Ancestry it increases the chance to gain a stack of Maelstrom weapon by 2% and whenever you gain a stack of Maelstrom weapon the cooldown of Feral Spirits is reduced by 1 second. Okay, and then goes by 2 seconds. So, uh, not as much new stuff again as well as with uh, many hybrids and packed uh, classes as it was already. Uh, but uh, more emphasis on you uh, dealing with different types of procs in ways that you want to do it. Some shenanigans with a different elemental um, buffs here. Uh, so yeah, pretty pretty good tree in my opinion. Um, and then we have your either your either elemental spirits. Your feral spirits now are now imbued with fire, frost, or lightning, increasing your damage dealt with that element by 15%. Okay, so that's not only physical damage increase that you're getting. Uh, and alpha wolf, while feral spirits is active, our active chain lightning and crash lightning causes your wolves to attack all nearby enemies for 265 physical damage every two seconds for the next eight seconds. So that's if you want to have your feral spirits as an aoe cooldown and that's if you want to have more damage on single target which is quite straightforward legacy of the frost witch consuming 10 stacks of maelstrom weapon will reset the cooldown of storm strike okay and increases the damage of your physical the abilities by five and then 25 percent Probably some values here are not right because 5 and then 25 is uh, kind of weird. Uh, but maybe if, because first gives you the reset and second one just gives you an additional physical damage increase. Okay. I don't know how good is physical damage increase gonna be because you're here having so much uh, elemental stuff here. <clears throat> and our last uh, part. Uh, either deeply rooted elements using storm strike has an eight percent chance to activate ascendance. Oh, uh, then I'll probably read ascendance first. So ascendance is our DPS cooldown that we've used in the Shadowlands. Uh, it was our in our talents instant three minutes uh, cooldown transform into an air ascendant for fifteen seconds, immediately dealing nature damage to any enemy with, within eight yards, reducing the cooldown and cost of storm strike by sixty six percent, and transforming your auto attack into and storm strike into wind attacks which bypasses bypass armor and have a 30 yards range so they yeah that was your damage cooldown uh, additional one um, you just had it uh, then we have deeply rooted elements using storm strike has a random 8% chance to activate ascendance for 6 seconds instead of 15 seconds with 3 minutes cooldown transforms uh, oh and here we have just an ascendance ascendance yeah 
uh, description. So that's if you want a passive prox. That's if you want it in certain uh, periods of time. Which probably, yeah, depends, depends, all depends. Which probably in M+, you want deeply rooted elements in raids, it's more of a choice. In PvP, it's probably Ascendance. Uh, it's gonna be this rather than this. But it's pretty cool either way. <coughs> Static accumulation. While Ascendance is active, generate one Maelstrom weapon every sta stack every one second, and then it goes up to two seconds, and our last talent... Thorim's uh, Invocation. While Ascendance is active, Windstrike automatically consumes up to 5 Maelstrom weapon stacks to discharge a lightning bolt or chain lightning at your enemy, whichever you most recently used. Alright. So, just additional procs of either lightning bolt or chain lightning. Uh, it's... Um, it's a little bit harder to say here. It's definitely not bad. Uh, you definitely have have interesting stuff going on. You definitely have uh, like maybe a little bit too much of maelstrom weapon stacks uh, shenanigans uh, everywhere. Uh, it's cool that you have different uh, styles of uh, elements, uh, and you can change what you can like go into one of them um, and spec into. But yeah, a bit, it lacks a little bit for me. So, if you was to compare it to some other talent tree trees, which are great, maybe it's a little bit outshined, but it's definitely not bad. So yeah, I, I guess like, uh, and Wind Fury Totem is pretty cool. Ability for your uh, melee stacks, I guess it's kind of cool. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you're gonna see my next videos as well. Uh, subscribe to my channel and have a good day. Goodbye.